Hi, welcome to Painting with Victoria. I'm Victoria Goebel and in today's lesson we will be painting a hummingbird. Now before we get started painting our hummingbird we have to take care of the background and the background is going to be a soft shade of yellows and peach color. So let's take out our flat brush and we're going to take some white and just dip our paintbrush in the white. And let's just go ahead and start with the center. Just block in just a great big huge blob of white. I don't know how well you can see it on the screen. It's, it's wet, so maybe you can see how, how shiny it is. And so I'm gonna come out to about you know this far. And now I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in the Cad Yellow Light and mix a little white with that to make a nice uh, light lemon color. And I'm gonna go ahead and go around my circle and then just blend it right in to the white. And this just kind of represents sunlight coming through our little scene here. All right, that's good. I want to leave a little bit of white showing through. Yeah, that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to block in our entire canvas with this beautiful lemon color. And again, it is cad yellow light and white. If you run out, just make a little bit more. And please make sure that you cover your entire canvas. Okay, so I have um, gotten the paint in um, around the entire canvas. I don't see any more white, don't want to see any white canvas. So if, inspect your, your canvas and make sure that all of it is covered. Now I'm going to take the magenta and mix it into that color, add some more white and more of the cad yellow to create a beautiful, beautiful peachy pink color. And what I'm going to do is in the corners, I'm going to block some in. Oops. And if that happens, oh well, we're just going to blend that right into the canvas. If I drip, that's okay. And so I'm just going to blend that in to the yellow color. And the way you blend two colors together, uh, the easiest way is I'm going to go ahead and rinse my brush out and go back to the uh, cad yellow light and white color that I made and I'm going to hit it right over what I just did and blend the two in. And then we get a softer, I really want this to be soft. This should not be have real sharp edges. You see how nicely that faded into our pretty peach color. Okay, so now I'm gonna continue to do this side with the peach color on the corner. And what we're creating is this really warm glow. Okay, and now when I get to this corner here, I'm going to make it a little bit stronger in shade. More yellow. Okay, there we go. And what I want to do here is create like soft little petal shapes. The way we do that is we're just, I'm just going to brush fun little strokes like this. And this is where our, our uh, little bushel of flowers is going to be right here, where the hummingbird stopped to um, eat the sugar from the, from the flowers. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do is, just like I did before, I'm gonna clean my brush out really good and go back to the lemon color, 
CAD Yellow Light and White. And I'm going to go ahead and brush over this just to soften it. It's just a little too strong and this is how we soften it, is go back in with a lighter color. And After we get done with this, we're going to let this dry and start with our template that you got in your kit. Just soft little strokes just to sort of represent blossom flowers. Just la 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 la. Not a whole lot of thought going into that. Okay. All right, so this is a great place to stop. Um, if it's a sunny day, just put it outside for about five minutes, 10 minutes at the most. Or if it's not, just take a blow dryer and hold it a little far away for about five minutes and then we'll come back and work on our hummingbird. So welcome back. While my painting was drying, I made myself a nice little cup of coffee and had a little apple tart. And that's the beauty of these classes, is that you can stop anytime you want and go take a break and come back to it. Um, you can pause and uh, take your time. And that's what's the benefit of these lessons so that you don't have to show up at a class at a certain time or maybe it's too far away. And so then you put off learning how to paint because of the inconvenience of it all. So what I try to do is make everything as convenient as possible by um, giving you the exact paint that I use, the exact brushes I use, the same size canvas, and of course, those wonderful templates to make your job so much easier. So what we're going to do now is take our hummingbird template. And we have one that looks like a flower and one that looks like a hummingbird. So let's start with the let's start with the flower first. And what I'm going to do is place it probably like right about here. And this is our flower that's up in the front. And then I'll take my hummingbird and place it right here. So take your time sketching this. Um, you have your pencil and make sure you've sharpened it. It's nice and sharp. And you're going to hand draw all the way around this. Okay, so I'm just going to put it in time lapse so you don't have to watch me um, draw this in real time. Okay, so I've sketched in my hummingbird and my flower, and what we're gonna do is block these in before we do the detail. So take out your, on the hummingbird, we're going to use our number six round, and we're gonna dip it right into the Payne's Gray, and start blocking in the wings. Okay, so I've just blocked in my hummingbird in Payne's Gray. So we're gonna rinse that brush out really good. And we're gonna make a nice green color for our stem and our leaves. And the way we do that is we're gonna take phthalo blue and mix it with some yellow. And this makes a lovely, beautiful, rich green color. Now you're probably thinking, why didn't I just give you green paint? It, you wouldn't learn how to mix colors if I did that. So that's why I like to include um, the uh, techniques that I use in mixing colors in my lessons. So we're gonna go ahead and just do our one big stem that's attached to our stencil. And we'll go ahead and just fill that in. And we're gonna go ahead and these little uh, points right here just represent leaves. So 
take your brush and we're still working with the six inch, the number six round. And we're gonna go ahead and use that point to start our leaf, you press down and then you lift up. And press down and lift up. This looks like it's a stem as well, but I'll just go ahead and fill that in now. The rest of the um, background needs to have some stems and flowers, and instead of you tracing um, another template, we're just gonna kind of put some lines that represent some stems kind of poking out of our foliage. And we're gonna go ahead and attach some leaves to them. And you can put as many as you like. You can put as, uh, as few as you like. This one should go off of the canvas. And we'll just keep doing some more. These are just little stems that are kind of poking here and there. Pretty good. It's a good place to stop here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is do some uh, close-up petals on our flowers. So what we're going to do is take our lovely magenta color and add a little bit of white to that. So pretty. Look at that color. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so now what I'm gonna do is just, even though the stencil has these little funny shapes, I'm basically using that as just kind of a guideline where the flower goes. And we have, we have these little stems coming out, which is probably where the hummingbird is drawing the uh, sugar from. So I'll just block that in and let's go ahead and draw those in. All right. I can still see a little lead um, for my pencil, but that's okay. Sometimes it's kind of nice to see a little pencil coming through. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some yellow to that and a little bit of white and lighten it up. And this is going to make it a lighter shade of pink. And now I'm going to just do some fun little strokes coming in just to kind of give my flower some dimension. There go. Cad, cad yellow light, some white. Do that again to this flower. These are the two flowers that are close up. Everything else is far away. So with that same color that you just used for the lighter part of your petals, we're gonna go ahead and just put some free flowing flowers and attach them to our stems here. And this is supposed to be a very beautiful florally kind of uh, plant. So I'm just randomly sticking petals using my uh, paintbrush, the point on my paintbrush to give those that petal effect. And again, you can do as many or as little as you like. I'm just gonna Now I'm gonna take some cad yellow light and mix it in that um, batch and add more white. So now I've got an even lighter shade of a peachy pink color. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hit these petals in a few places just to give them a little depth and not make them look so stark. 
It's just all about layering colors. It's really coming out so pretty already. There we go. We're going to highlight all of our leaves next. Just kind of randomly just dropping down and putting some petals. And I'm going to go ahead and take that very, very light color and just hit it in a few places in my flowers in the forefront. There we go. Stop there. I want to do every single one, just a few. There. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on our leaves. I'm going to rinse my brush out really good. And in the same way that we did our florals, we're going to highlight the green leaves with a lighter shade. So let's go back to our green color that you made and add some more yellow to it and a little bit of white. There we go. That's perfect. And I'm just going to hit it with a few strokes here and there. And that just gives our um, foliage just some lovely highlights. Okay. And we'll just do a few of these, kind of going around. And by the time we get done with this, our hummingbird is almost dry and we can start working on the detail of our hummingbird. Okay, so let's wrap up the florals by working on the little stems, the, the little part that comes out here in front. And so what we're going to do is take a lot of yellow. So I've made a lovely tangerine color by adding the cad yellow light and white to my pink color. And what I'm going to do is just hit it on the ends of these. And then I'm going to put a, just a little stem line going in. There. And that just gives it just a little bit more detail than the rest of the flowers. Okay. So now let's go ahead and start working on the uh, feathers on our hummingbird. Okay, we're going to start uh, the details on our hummingbird by first applying a green shade along the back and the top of his head. And so you're going to take some phthalo blue and some yellow. We're going to make a very rich, deep, dark green color. A lot more phthalo blue though. So we want it to be a blue green color. Okay, so what I'm going to do is kind of come across the top of his wing here and kind of brush it in an outward motion right about there and then kind of bring it across the top of his head. Let's see. And I, I think you can see it even though I'm putting dark on dark. Okay. Now, here's where the magic begins. All right, so now what we're going to do is take a uh, cad yellow light, and I'm just going to dip my brush into it, kind of mix it up together, and I'm going to go ahead and start. This is very important that you go in the, what the, the direction of what the feathers would be. So I'm going to go in a downward motion here first. And if it's, if it's not coming out strong enough, just dip it back in yellow. And now as I come around on the outer part of this wing, I am going to go in a, kind of a sunburst direction. And now I'm going to go in a downward direction. 
here. Dip it in yellow. And then when we get to this port, part right here, I'm going to just have little tiny strokes coming up like this and going all the way to the top of his head. That's good. I think I'm just going to, let me dip it in a um, yellow one more time, tad yellow, and I'm going to just highlight a few on the top of his head. Like that. And then maybe a few right here. That's good. Okay. So now let's, hand, let's do the burgundy that goes in here. So we're going to rinse out our brush really well and this time we're going to just put it right into the magenta and fill this in with magenta. Again, we're putting a dark color on a dark color and that's okay. You'll see what will happen next. And I'm just going to kind of come across here because it's, it's really just one part of their head that is this beautiful magenta color. And don't do the beak, you want to stop at the beak. Okay, let's see. So it should be a shape kind of like that. So now I'm just going to take that paintbrush, the same one, and dip it in white. And now I'm going to do little teeny tiny strokes, little tiny ones like this. Kind of just representing those little teeny tiny feathers that they have around their head. I just love the details in hummingbirds that, and the way their little feathers shine. So just very um, iridescent looking. Okay, so there we go. That's good. That is good. So let's just leave that like that. And now what we're going to do is let's do the feathers that are here. This is actually a feather that's from the back. So let's start with that one first. And we're going to take Payne's gray and white and make a very pretty kind of a blue-gray color. Okay. Yeah, this is good. All right. All right, so now what I'm going to do is do this first in long strokes, just like that. And now this, this um, uh, feather is in the front, or this wing, so um, we see the uh, direction of the feathers. They need to go in this direction here. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the very top and come down. Okay. And this little tiny paintbrush works so well for creating those fine lines. And then as I come down here, they just get shorter and shorter. And now we're going to do the same thing with these, uh, the tail here. We're going to go in an upward direction, just like that. And, and then as far as his little belly goes, we would just go in the direction of the tummy right here. And so that would be little strokes that go like this, in this direction. Now these don't show up enough, but this is our first layer of the, uh, the, whiter, the whiter feathers. So now I'm just going to take my paintbrush, don't clean it off, just dip it in white. And now I'm going to do it all over again. Start from the top, come down, top, come down. and. You'll probably have to dip your paintbrush a few times, but doesn't that look beautiful, the dimension that it gives? Go ahead and, there we go. Start from the very top, press down, and glide. You don't want to work it. You don't want to overwork it. Just one stroke will do it.
And after you finish this painting, if you want to experiment with other colors because um, hummingbirds do come in so many different colors. There we go, and then I'll go ahead and do a stroke there. Dip it back in, and let's do the tail. Back in the white, and do the tail again. And now his belly. Great. We're also going to use this color, this lovely blue-gray color, to um, do the beak. And so you have to be very, very careful. I always say if you lean your pinky onto the canvas, it's easier to do a straight line. So all we're going to do is just highlight that and then highlight the bottom part. Just like that. Not a whole lot to it. So let's go ahead and put his eye in. We're almost done. And just take Payne's Gray on your little tiny paintbrush and we'll go ahead and just put it right about here. It's a good place. And I think what I'm going to do just for fun is add, I didn't do this with the last one but I want to do it with this one, add some uh, shades of turquoise blue. So phthalo blue and white to make this beautiful turquoise blue color. And I'm going to put a few of them in the green part just to add some fun highlights. and maybe across his back. Just to add another dimension. There we go. And then I think what I'm also gonna do is highlight just one more, like right here where the light would be hitting it. So I'm gonna make my magenta and white, but maybe add a little bit more white than I did the last time. Still had blue on there. Okay, start all over. White and magenta, there we go. So let's go ahead and highlight a few little places right here. There we go. Okay, great. And so now all we need to do is put the sparkle in his eye. And we're going to give him a couple of little feet hanging down. And so the sparkle in his eye would be white. And I'm just going to dip it in white and hit it right here. That's it. And I'm going to take that same paintbrush and dip it in the Payne's Gray. And just give him a couple of little right here. So um, the only thing that I think I want to do, there's just one more thing I want to do, and go ahead and take out your round brush number six, and we're going to go ahead and take uh, magenta and more white, really lighten that up to a very pale, pale pink. And I just want to hit my petals in a few more places, even lighter. I'm going to add more white to that. There we go. Just in a few petals, I just really want to wake some of these up in the front. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted to see. So we are done with our painting. I hope you had fun. I did, and I always love painting hummingbirds. Everybody loves a hummingbird. So. Um, the only thing left to do is sign your name. So let's see, I think I'll sign it in that beautiful phthalo blue and white. I always like my signature to stand out, so you want to pick a contrasting color. So I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, I'll just do it right here, even though the leaves will probably cover it up. It's okay. If you like this lesson, please feel free to post your finished paintings on my Facebook page. Let's Paint with Victoria Goebel, or, um, and, you know, have a painting party, invite your friends over, and send away for a kit for everyone, and just make it a fun night that you have your closest friends over, and you all paint a hummingbird or whatever. There's 13 right now to choose from, and there'll always be more coming. So I'm excited that uh, we got to paint today, and I hope you're coming back and paint.